The new Samsung Galaxy A55 has some upgrades compared to the Galaxy A54, but if you just look at the specs, you might not notice much difference in the display. The A55 has a slightly bigger screen at 6.6 .6 inches instead of 6.4 inches, but this makes the pixels less packed together. Both phones still use Super AMOLED displays with HDR10 Plus and a 120Hz refresh rate, and they can both get really bright, up to 1000 nits, at least according to what's written down. Surprisingly, the Galaxy A55 screen is much better than the Galaxy A54's, and it's way brighter as well. Tests done by DxO Mark show that the Galaxy A55's display is the best among phones like it, even better than the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. The A55 screen comes in first place, while the S23 Fan Edition's is 9th and the A54's is 17th. To give you a clear idea, let's see how the Galaxy A55 screen stacks up against the Galaxy A54's and the S23 Fan Edition on a worldwide scale. The new A55 ranks 27th globally in screen quality, even surpassing the iPhone 14 Plus by one point. As for the Galaxy A54, it's quite far down the list, sitting at the 123rd position. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition isn't at the top either, it's placed 84th on the chart. According to Dexel Mark, the Galaxy A55's display outperforms even the prissier Galaxy S23 Fan Editions, despite the S23 Fan Edition claiming to have a higher brightness level. This might be because the overall quality of the A55's screen, including factors like color accuracy, contrast, and viewing angles, is superior to that of the S23 Fan Edition, outweighing the brightness difference. How can the Galaxy A55's Super AMOLED display, which can reach 1000 nits of brightness, be better than the Galaxy S23 Fan Editions, which can reach 1450 nits? What makes the A55 screen so good that it can even beat the more expensive S23 Fan Edition? DxO Mark tests found that the Galaxy S23 Fan Editions display reaches a maximum of 1421 nits, which is slightly lower than what Samsung claims. But hold on to your seats because the Galaxy A55's display goes even further, peaking at a hopping 1,638 nits. That's way higher than what was advertised. Surprisingly, even the Galaxy A54 surpasses its official specs in these tests, hitting a remarkable 1,344 nits. That's impressive on its own, just not enough to outshine the S23 Fan Edition or the A55. Overall, the Galaxy A55 performs way better than expected. It proves that although its specs might seem similar to the Galaxy A54 on paper, real-world use paints a different picture. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.